Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV and today we're talking about giant pumpkins and the Nanaimo Pumpkin Festival. Today on Go Island, we meet artist Dennis Brown. Kim Rock discusses her experience at the Biff Naked concert and this week in BC. That and more today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. Today, we're in a giant pumpkin patch. We're learning about what it takes to grow these giant pumpkins and we're gonna find out what it takes to make Nanaimo's pumpkin festival happen. All that's gonna take place today on Go Island. But first, I had a chance to catch up with a very talented artist, Beat Dennis Brown. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV and today we're in a giant pumpkin patch. I'm here with Karen Streeter who is the coordinator of Pumpkin Festival here in Nanaimo. What can you tell us about Pumpkin Festival? Well the Pumpkin Festival is a full family fun event. Um, we have lots of activities. Uh, of course there's the uh, giant pumpkin weigh in as you can see back there and uh, we have uh, pumpkins that you can carve and decorate and leave us the mess. And, we have lots of crafts, a uh, bouncy castle, farmer's market, um, a little petting farm. Uh, the regional district is bringing their display bus. Um, we have uh, the little train that kids can ride on. Lots of, lots of activities. So it's not all about people that grow these giant pumpkins, it's people that can go and kind of check out the, the weigh-in and the final party, so to speak. Yeah, it's, there's something for everybody. We also have the uh, Wellington School Band. They're doing a, a hot dog sale for us. So there's uh, lots for everybody. And when is this taking place? It's this uh, Sunday, uh, which is October the 13th from uh, 12 to 4 at the um, VIX uh, uh, Fairgrounds of Bevan Park. And I know you are the Vice President for the VIX and you're the coordinator for this event. And this is, takes a whole bunch of volunteer time for you. What, what kind of time goes into this? Oh, uh, it's, we start right after the fair in August, planning and organizing and uh, getting every thing together and uh, the volunteers and uh, yeah it's lots of fun though. What makes you want to put this time into it? <laughs> I don't know sometimes but it's a it's a benefit for the community and it, it helps us as the VIX teach people about agriculture which is the the most important thing. Well I know your efforts are very much appreciated by everybody involved in the pumpkin festival and we're here right now in the garden of Leslie and Dave Ply who've been growing pumpkins for years and I know Leslie would like to kind of give you a little token of her appreciation so Leslie come on in here. So Karen for all you do you're just wonderful. <laughs> the community <laughs> really appreciates oh. everything you do and thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts because without you you're the top coordinator, the top volunteer. Without you, I don't know who would do thank it. Thank you. Wow. So thank you so much. This is from Dave and I and everybody else. Oh. And it's just a kind of like a nice picture. You're the wind beneath our wings. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Definitely a touching moment here. Oh, yeah. And we're going to thank you for everything that you do. And we're going to come back and learn a little bit more about what it takes to grow one of these giant pumpkins right after this break. Still ahead on Go Island, the legend of Kanaka Pete, the ghost on Newcastle Island, Kim Rock's review of the Biff Naked concert and more of Nanaimo's Pumpkin Festival. Still ahead on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here in a giant pumpkin patch with pumpkin growers Dave and Juliana Ply who how long have you guys been growing pumpkins? A uh, long time, over 20 years. Wow, and tell me, there's got to be kind of an art to it. What does it take uh, to grow one of these? Um, you need, uh, need to load up the soil in the fall. You need some good seeds from some growers. And uh, yeah, you need uh, good drainage in the soil and lots of sun and lots of luck and some good uh, growing techniques like tr pruning the plants properly and yeah, you know, I'm always trying something different every year to this, make them grow bigger. But This one looks pretty big right here. Yeah, it's probably the ugliest one I've ever grown. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Well, how big do you figure this is? Uh, this one's hard to measure. I'm thinking it's going to be around 800 maybe. And when, when it comes to the contest, like what, what's your competition usually like? Uh, 
uh, we got a, we got this Dutchman in Port Alberni, uh, Jake. He usually he usually outdoes me every year, so he's got something that's going to be a little bigger than this. I'm pretty sure. So it all comes down to the weigh-in. What about like you know these aren't obviously average pumpkin seeds. Is it special seeds you get? Or? Yeah, these are Atlantic Giant pumpkin seeds, and uh, yeah, we can get them. Uh, we just uh, usually send away and, and get seeds, trade seeds with other growers, and yeah. You have to start them in a, inside because they won't germinate in the soil. But yeah, you just start them out in, uh, early, and and these things are they're, they'll produce consistently 500 to 1,000 or even more. Wow! Depends on how much you know nutrients you, you give them. Wow! Yeah. So you've been doing this for 20 years, yeah. along with your wife Leslie, and we're going to yeah. talk to her in a little bit. But what is it about growing giant pumpkins? I don't know. It's just uh, I, every year I say it's going to be my last year, and I just we keep growing it and. Um, yeah, we just I just enjoy watching these things. How they can, they can grow 25 pounds a day. It's a crazy hobby I keep doing, and I don't know. We'll see how long it keeps going. Juliana wants me to keep doing it, so I would do it next year. <laughs> she says we're doing it next year, so this won't be his last year. We're gonna come back and talk with Dave's wife Leslie and find out a little bit more about this pumpkin festival and growing pumpkins. But first, it's time for this week in BC. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. I'm here with Leslie Ply, who, Leslie, you've been involved with the Pumpkin Fest for a while. Yes, about uh, eight years now. And how do you, what keeps you going? Why do you want to keep getting involved? Well, it's really fun to see these giant pumpkins grow this big. This is about maybe 800 pounds. We've had bigger in the past, but it's really fun to see how big they get and to get the community involved, give the seeds to all the school age children and see if they can come up with anything and it's just a really fun agricultural event. Like you say, getting people involved. How many people are involved or how, how's the growth been since you started? Uh, well, way back about eight years ago, we started out on Jingle Pot Farm way out there on Jingle Pot Road and it was, it was pretty small, but it was really fun to see how many people would show up. And I think we had about maybe six pumpkins the first year. And then every year it's, it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger, just like the pumpkins. So more people are getting involved, so it must be a really fun hobby. One thing I found kind of interesting is, you know, we're surrounded by all these green leaves and it looks like you've planted a ton of pumpkins. But how many seeds is this that you planted? All this, 1,100 square feet almost, is two seeds. Two seeds of these giant, giant pumpkin seeds. And uh, you just have to prune them so that all the growth grows into the fruit, as you can see. So and you, yeah, you just kind of pick one or two fruits to let go and then yeah, you we, stop letting other pumpkins grow. That's exactly right. Gotcha. So what are you what are your hopes for this year? Well, we're hoping that this is good enough to to win the pumpkin festival. It wasn't a very good year for a lot of people with, you know, different weather patterns throughout BC, but we've got some good competition from Vancouver and Port Alberni, and we're hoping that this year, this year we might win first prize. You never know though. Fingers crossed for you guys. <laughs> We're going to come back and talk a little bit more about the Pumpkin Festival. But first, Kim Rock talks about her experience at the Biff Naked concert. In other words, theater is a new nonprofit theater company to Nanaimo, and they made this promotional video about their debut show, Muse. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're propped up on probably about a 800 pound pumpkin. About that. And you were saying this actually came from a seed from a 1500 pound pumpkin? Yeah, 1500 pounds grown in the States and uh, they tend to have bigger pumpkins down there because of the weather, but we do our best up here in BC and we do pretty good. And how does that, like how important is pumpkin seed selection? Um, it's pretty crucial You know, if you want to have a a yellow pumpkin, this is the type of seed that you would need and you can trace that back through the genetics. Um, orange pumpkins grow orange pumpkins. And can you get a giant orange pumpkin? You can. Last year we had a beautiful orange pumpkin that was on display at Woodgrove. Beautiful, gorgeous. And you can, they come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah, this is the ugliest pumpkin we've ever grown. We're quite proud of it. <laughs> so when it comes to Pumpkin Fest, is there, do you think you might get a prize for shapes? Um, Odds, we have, shapes, sizes, is we've there got, categories? We've got pumpkin prizes from the heaviest to the prettiest to the ugliest. And uh, we encourage everybody to bring out their pumpkins because you never know what you're going to get. 
and that pumpkin festival is happening again when? October 13th between 12 and 4 at VIX Fairgrounds and we want to thank all the sponsors and volunteers that donate their time for this. Without you guys we wouldn't have this so thank you very much. And keeping in the Halloween spirit, it's time now to throw to a ghost story on Newcastle Island. This pumpkin is probably about 650 pounds, at least that's kind of the guess. And I can only imagine what kind of ordeal it is to actually transport these pumpkins. You can find out more about the Pumpkin Festival at NanaimoPumpkinFestival.com. That's about it for this episode of Go Island. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon. Thank you.